took a train to the south side of Boston You showed me where your old maps take To 28 years of blood I was lost in a field of on my own birthday And I always felt like I was in between something like home and something G'day guys, my name's Dave and welcome to another Guitars Ready Hero song tutorial. In this lesson, I'm going to teach you how to play 28 by Zach Bryan. For the basics, we'll just need our guitar and standard tuning and we won't need a capo. If you want to master your chords back to front, then be sure to head over to guitarsreadyhero.com to pick up my free guitar ebook. And finally, this video simply teaches you one song, but if really understanding and learning the guitar is something you always wanted to do, but you didn't know where to start, then be sure to check out the Guitars Ready Hero premium course and membership, which gives you all the guidance to play with confidence. I'll leave a link to it in the description. Let's jump into the lesson. Okay, so let's start off with the main verse progression. And we're going to start off with a D sus4 chord shape that looks like this. Now it's ringing pinky fingers on the 5th frets of the 5th and 4th string, the open 3rd string, and index finger goes on the 3rd fret of the 2nd string. So we're focusing on the middle 4 strings here. With the 6th string, you can just mute that by lightly touching it with your thumb. So that's our D sus4. Then we go to D at 11. So just lift your pinky finger and your middle finger will naturally just hit the 4th fret of the 4th string. So it's the same as a C chord shape, just up 2 frets. That's D at 11. Then we're going to play a G chord. So move your ring and middle finger to the 4th and 3rd strings. So that's our G. And we just want to focus on the 4th, 3rd and 2nd strings here. You don't want the 6th and 5th string ringing out. And you can do that by lightly muting it with your thumb reaching over the top or by just focusing on those three strings. So that's G, and then G sus4. Take your pinky finger, put it on the fifth fret of the third string. So those are our four chord shapes. Now in terms of strumming pattern, this song is in six, eight timing. So there's a one, two, three, four, five, six feel to it. For our strumming pattern, you could use two different variations. You could play down, 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 up, or one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six. Or you could remove one of the down strums and play more of a down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, or one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six. It's completely up to you, just sort of feel it. You can mix and match those two as well if you'd like. We're going to play each chord with one strumming pattern. I'm going to use the one without a down strum on the two in the five beat. So it'll sound like this. Now one little thing that you can add is a bit of a hammer on on the first down strum for the G sus4. So for the first down strum for that G sus4, don't have your pinky finger already on that note, hammer onto it like that, and that will sound like this. It just adds a tiny bit of flair, which sounds really nice. That's it for the main verse progression. Now, just before the chorus, I'm just gonna call this the pre-chorus, there's one extra bar of G sus4. So it's the same chord progression as the verse, but when we play the G sus4, we're going to finish it in the second bar, but then play it again for another full bar. So the pre-chorus. Now the only other chord progression to learn in this song is the chorus, which is nice and simple. There's just four chords. We have an E minor, then a D chord, a G chord, and then a C chord. And I'm going to strum this with a down, down, up, down, up, twice for each chord. So each chord will span a full bar of music. So that's everything there is to learn for 28. Now, in terms of song structure, we start off with the intro, 
which is just the verse chord progression played through a number of times. In the playthrough at the end, I'm just gonna be playing it through twice and then jumping to the verse. But in the actual song, it holds out for a little bit longer. Then there's first verse, a pre-chorus, then our chorus, then another verse, another pre-chorus, then two choruses, and then finally we end the song with one more verse. So now I'll be doing a full playthrough of the song and I'll have a vocal track on top for some context. A big thanks to my friend Eric for lending his awesome vocals to this playthrough. Feel free to play this back as many times as you'd like to to practice, play along to, and see how you go. Thanks so much for watching. If you've enjoyed this lesson, then I know you'll absolutely love these other lessons too. So hit the link here, or if you want to grab a copy of my free guitar ebook, then head over to guitarzeritohero.com or click the link here. Thanks so much, and I'll see you guys next time on Guitar Zero to Hero. Cheers.